<laughs> Zion. Uh, we got to do better, Zion. We got to do better. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I heard this one brother say, he said, we can't take none of this foolishness back with us into the kingdom. No, no, we can't. <laughs> this is the kind of foolishness that got us kicked out of holy Jerusalem. And now we can't take this kind of behavior back into the kingdom. <clears throat> uh, I was like, I know everybody keep talking about more and more and more. You don't understand what it is. It's a different day, man. Different time, man. We're in a new time, man. It's a, it's a new day, man. It's a new time, man. It's a whole... Man, life is totally different now than it was when you was young. It sure was. <laughs> As a matter of fact, to be completely honest with Israel right now, I don't really know what this is that we as a nation are living. It's hard for me to even call it life. Is this life at all? I mean, I know you claim to be alive. <laughs> we can see you moving and, and behaving, but is it life? Is it what Abba Yah had designed for us as his chosen people and as his covenant nation? Um, I just, I can't, I, I just can't. <laughs> As y'all can tell, I'm still trying to get over this little cold. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, like, I know that this was not in the mind of our king and our savior and our maker, Yahuwah, when he called Abraham out of her of the Chaldee according to one writer, into a city whose builder and maker is Yah. I just don't believe that this was the type of behavior that he had in mind for us, Zion. <clears throat> no, uh-uh. I don't know what this is that people claiming to have life, to be life, Cause this ain't life. Uh, people have gotten their uh, like computer, metaverse, television, make believe, uh, novel, fiction, movies. They they got that life mess mixed up with real life. And it's so bad now, people don't know the difference. So they live in what's called a metaverse. They live in social media, and television, movies, and make-believe stories. And they don't live in real life. And I had to think about that because I've been thinking for a few days. Just things that don't, that don't, I, they, it don't make no sense because I, it in, in life, 
in regular real life. Ah, uh, certain things that are happening just would never happen in real life. And uh, I just wanted to say, I wanted to bring a question because of course I can't be all day. I'm, I'm just sharing a thought and that's what I do most of the time. I just share these thoughts to help people think and hopefully meditate. Whether you like the thought or not, at least I'll put it out there so you can think about it. Zion, it seems to me that that the devil, the enemy, the beast, excuse me, <clears throat> has taken from us life, real life, and in exchange has given us death so that we we seem to to now be in a culture <clears throat> of death that we call life <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, and we seem to <clears throat> that when a person then tries to bring forth life or talk about life, then the world we live in today, among Israelites especially, when we talk about what a world of life is, then people look at that as nah nah man, nobody wanna live like that, man. That's death. So you know a nation is destroyed, right? When they don't know what life to live, the life of life or the life of death. And Hamashiach addresses that for us when he's talking about that thief over in John chapter 10. And he talks about how He's the actual door, but really, um, most of us uh, study Hebrew, so we know that he's talking not about like an actual swinging door. We know he's more mentioning like a gateway. And um, he is the one who is the beginning of the entrance into something. So the idea of a door which is like a dollar, could also have to do with the entrance into a pathway. For instance, if you say, hey, I wanna go to the backyard because there's something in the back I need to get, and it's first say, oh, if you wanna go back there, there's a trail, you gotta go through the gate. So then you go through the gate, and then you're gonna see the trail, get on that trail, follow that trail to the back of the property, and then you'll be able to get what you want. So therefore, the, the door is not necessarily always like a door to a house. It can be a gateway or a path, um, an entrance way into a particular way of light, uh, walk, a particular walk, a particular path. And and Hamashiach is basically saying, I'm that way. I'm, I'm the way to that, to life, to life. But there is a thief who's the devil, who's really the beast and the beast system I've been talking about that swallowed us up as a people. But anyway, I, that's a whole other story. But I just want you to say, his whole purpose, according to not my words, but the words of our king, is to steal, kill, and destroy. All right, what? Mm-hmm. And it's interesting that when you really break down what people think today is real life, like, man, that person living, you're going to see in that the life of death. Stealing something, killing.
killing something and destroying something. That's all we, that's life to us. Being able to take something that don't belong to us in some kind of way, steal something, steal identity, steal somebody something, steal somebody's husband, steal somebody's wife, steal, stealing, steal. Second, killing. Any time there's having to do with kill, oh my goodness, you're talking about wanting to run numbers up. Woo, just talk about killing it. Killing and killing it. Who you gonna kill it? Who been killing and kill? And to, excuse me, to destroy, to destroy, to destroy. Destruction, destruction of a name, destruction of a reputation, destruction of a brother, destruction of a character. Destruction of a family. Destruction. Destruction. So to us, life has become synonymous with stealing, killing, and destroying. Why don't you let that sink in, Zion? Mashiach said that kind of lifestyle come from the devil. So then, Maury, what kind of life are we supposed to be living? Some of y'all asking that question right now. I'm, I'm going to get out this video. It's a quick video for thinking. What kind of life are we supposed to be living? Well, first of all, you're supposed to be living life. Real life. Zion. So what's real life? Real life is Torah. Real life. Like the life we're supposed to be living every single day so that we can understand what everything is all about is Torah. Not just the first five books of the Bible, but all of the instructions of Yah. But for now, we could actually use that first five books if you want to. Because real life, according to the word of Yah, is that the word of Yah is life. As the word of Yah enters in, then we should have life. For there is no word of Yah, then there is no life, it's death. So Hamashak said, we got a thief who has come to steal, kill, and destroy, and basically have made the pathway, right? That of um, theft, thievery, stealing, robbing, whatever, killing, and I mentioned already, and destruction. But then you have Hamashiach who says, but I come that you might have life, which is to walk the life of Torah, the life of the set apart people, the set apart family of the Most High Yah, the chosen generation. Now, I'm gonna take it a step further. I want you to think about this, Zion. Do you know that everybody who is caught up in this dysfunctional, which is really the word ra in Hebrew, this dysfunctional evil life of stealing, killing and destroying. Do you know that all of these people have one thing in common? White Jesus. Yeah, I said it. All of them have one thing in common. White European Jesus and Christianity. Every one of them talking about I'm a Christian. Every one of them talking about I go to church. Every one of them talking about I pray. Every one of them talking and they all talking about white Jesus. All of the stealing and the killing and the destruction that's going on amongst our people. Primarily I'm talking to Israel. The people involved in it are connected to some local congregation. Why? Oh, because the law has been done away with. Because them laws, statutes, and the commandments, that's the old. Man, we in a new day now. Ain't nobody following them old laws, statutes, and commandments. Oh, so that's why you ain't got no self-control. 
That's why you do as I will. That's that's <laughs> that's why we live in a whole nother world. People don't even know what a man is. Don't know what a woman is. Can't define it. Can't define a man. Can't say this is the definition of a man. This is the definition of a woman. This is the definition of a child. No, uh-uh. Someone has come. I'll tell you who it is. It's the, it's the beast system that we're in. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's what it's all about. He said, but I came that you might have life. And that life, and that you might have that life that you have more abundant. And uh, I'm going to cut this video short for one reason. And that is because these uploads for some reason is taking hours out y'all and I want y'all to have this one today um I'm gonna pick it up cause I'm not done cause I'm gonna prove something else about this whole when you don't have life man let me see how much time I got oh you know what I might can fit it in this video so when you when you choose the route of Satan and the devil who comes to steal life from you to kill real life and to destroy real life then you try to use other things and you think that if you can chase the quote unquote things that the devil told you would bring you life you think you would have life and more abundant and that is the hook the bait and the hook that the devil keeps dangling in front of Zion. If you just had more money, more fame, more fans, more followers, more power, more, more this, more that, you would be happy. And, and the people, we've lived long enough to see that the people who actually got those things right now today are proving to us that those things are not bringing them life. So what is it bringing them? Now watch the term. A life of death. Zion, I could go further with that, but I just want you to think about it. What is, what is real life? Well, <laughs> it ain't the metaverse. It's not television. It's not movies. Is not fictional, no, Zion. Life is living the life of Torah. One love, I got to go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Support the ark if you can. We're going to continue to support you. Think about it. Think about it. Real life. It's a life with our king, keeping Torah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shalom.